Crazy Mike, crazymikesapps.com with an iPhone app demo for Pocket Snapper, Virtual Studio, and iModel by KDAN Mobile Software. This application is in the photography category, works best on an iPhone or iPod Touch, currently sells for $1.99. This intuitive photo shooting app features two live models along with optimal camera and editing functions to create studio quality photos that can be shared socially through a number of social networks. So here's the opening screen for this photography application. This is a regular camera mode. This application has two different photography aspects. One is the iModel mode where you can actually take pictures from embedded video of two different models that are included in the application. There is a third model that can be unlocked through earning so many points and I'll show you that in a moment. Now the other aspect is a regular photography application and it has a lot of great aspects. It has a timer here up to 10 seconds. You can set so you can get in the photo. The shutter is here where the camera is. You can reverse the camera to be forward facing towards you. On the bottom you have your zoom slider and then on the left you have all of your flash functionality from auto to automatically on, off, and flash regular. Now on the bottom is an information button which explains all of the different modes and they have great infographics that explain every button. Scroll through here, eye model mode, collage mode, member system, photo editing mode, photo management mode, photo editing mode. So there's a couple of different photo editing modes they explain here and they give you a bigger picture and then down here there's more of a minutia and they show you the albums and so on we're gonna head out of there so you know you can find out how to use the different modes on the bottom left top right we actually have our photo management area and I have my album separated one by the regular camera functionality where you're using the app as a regular camera or photography app and then you have the other option or album of all your iModel photos which are photos taken from the embedded video clips that are for the two different models that come with the application again a third model can be unlocked so you can see all of the pictures that I've taken of this model if I want to tap on one I can tap there and once I do that it opens up the editing mode and you can tap just say tap on effect for now and it taps and it pulls up atmosphere texture and special and those are going to give you more options as well but let's exit out of there and let's use the back button there and go into iModel mode which is accessed at the top left when you go into iModel mode you have Radka and then you have Felipe T and you have Nico but it's a high-end model that you need to earn 3,000 points to unlock you earn points by sharing photos and taking photos and so on now I'm gonna go ahead and show you Radka to access this we're gonna tap on the shutter here and then we're gonna be able to take photos from the embedded video clip that runs so I'll show you that now this is iModel mode. You can see our model, Radka, is moving about. The bubble machine is on. We have a zoom at the bottom, and it's gyroscope driven, so our actual target is moving around. Once we get an area or a photo that we like, tap the shutter, and you can take multiple photos. You also have a brightness slider over here on the left, so we can continue to take photos. And again, this is the embedded video that comes for Radka. There's also embedded video for model Felipe T and you can unlock Nico. Again, zoom at the bottom, brightness on the far left. The music plays and you can take photos. Now let's go into the photo area over here where we can actually see our photos and put them into albums as well as edit them. Okay, after leaving iModel mode, we've gone into the photo management area. Here you can see the two main albums we have, one from the photography application, the other from iModel. Gives you the date and everything there. Now we can tap on a photo and once you do it gives you some options. You can edit it, go to layout, delete or duplicate. In layout, if we tap there on the image, you can actually add a bunch of other photos in a variety of ways. If we want to do a photo collage, it gives me the photo that I originally tapped on and then I can go through here and add other photos and make a collage and you get the idea and then once you do that you can save it you can share it if you tap on share it's gonna pull up those networks that are available to be shared to Flickr, Facebook, Twitter and your photo library cancel out of there 
you can tap here and see your albums that you've created using the layout functionality. Again, share and delete. Head back here, and then we're going to exit back out of that mode. Again, in layout mode, you could also do photo brick or picture clothesline. Again, picture clothesline, you just tap and you add the photos like that, kind of like a regular of uh, darkroom. Now, we're going to go into edit. I'm going to tap this picture and you can see you've got the you get the little circles of red around them I'm gonna double tap that picture and it's gonna pull it up to be edited now I can go ahead and rotate it and you can tap on there and you'll see all your options here on the bottom I can crop it again your options pop here I could do one by one and just do a headshot and then I can go into effects and on effects and I didn't save that so if I go to crop let's go back there to crop and if I want to do that one by one and pull it out a little bit bigger, I can go ahead and tap on save. Now I've saved it and then I can go into effect here. And when you go into effect, you have atmosphere and it gives you a variety of atmospheres that you can use. I can tap on there and I can put done. Then I can go to texture if I like and add a texture, maybe a little bit of that over there and put done. And then you have special down here. And again, I kind of like this one here, and we'll put done on that one. And we go to frames, and we'll go to style frames. There are a variety of frames to select from. And we'll go ahead and give it a kind of a postage stamp look there. And once you're all done with that, you can export. It pops open again the different social networks. And I'm going to go ahead and export this to Facebook. It saves it to Facebook. I'm already logged in to Facebook, Flickr, and Twitter very easy to do. You can also save it to your photo library there very easily. Saves to Facebook and it all depends on how your connectivity is. Now you'll also notice a little black box appeared which tells me how many points I earn. You earn points for sharing photos and again I'm up to 600 points. When I reach 3000 I will unlock the high-end model to take other photos in my model mode. Now I can go ahead and save. I'm all done there. I'm going to exit out of here and we're going to exit out back to the main area here. And on the bottom right, the last area I need to show you is the actual uh, social part of this application. I'm currently logged into Flickr and that's where you're going to use to actually share your photos uh, in the community. You can share your photos to the other networks. You can see I've shared a couple. I've shared two. I have no friends that I've accessed yet. Friends are accessed there. You have the gallery here of other users that have uploaded photos using this application. And then you have your setup here. I'm logged into KDAN Mobile, Flickr, and Facebook. And I can exit out of there and I will head back to the main screen. Again, in a future update, they're going to be bringing in the opportunity for users to upload their own videos to do a photo shoot in iModel mode. Pretty cool. And then again, you can share those through all the various social networks. And I'm guessing they will add other models in the future that can be unlocked through points. Until next time, spend Crazy Mike from Crazy Mike's apps saying see ya.